Hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to show how you can password protect the Visual Basic environment. That way your users cannot look at your modules or your macros or any kind of coding that you have. This is different from password protecting the file itself from when the user has to open the document and they have to enter a password to view your Microsoft Excel document. I'm, what I'm referring to is specifically locking the Visual Basic environment and where the user will need to put in a password in order to look at the look, look at the code. So the first thing that we're going to need to do though is the document does need to be saved and I'm going to go on and just save this document and I'm going to save it as a macro enabled Word document. Let's do it a quick test. I'm going to go on and hit OK. Now right now if I was to go to the macros I could easily go to this macro and click edit and I can see the code or if there weren't any macros in this um, in this selection the other way that a user can look at your macros is going to the visual basic editor and then looking through your modules now if we want to prevent the user from doing this what you're going to do is you're going to open up the visual basic environment select your VBA project right click and you're going to go on and go to VBA project properties there's going to be two tabs. The tab that you're going to want to select is the protection tab. You're going to select lock project for viewing and then go on and put in a password. Go on and select OK. Now right now because we're already in the project we'll be able to go to the Visual Basic environment and look at the code. So to make the changes effective we're, we have to close the document out, save changes, and I'll go on and open up the document again this time if I go to Visual Basic and I try to expand on the project we're gonna get an enter um, an enter password prompt so I'm gonna go and hit cancel here because I want to show you um, this as well if you were to go to macros I had the update sheet macro right here we don't have the ability to hit edit the only thing that we can do is run the macro so either option that your user tries to take to view your code it won't be possible the only way that they can view your code is by entering in the password. So I'm going to go on and enter in my password. And now we have access to the Visual Basic environment. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.